Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully repair Windows 10 without losing any data on your computer. So this is going to be a fairly straightforward and quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So you don't actually have to be on the device that you're trying to repair Windows with in order to proceed with this tutorial. However, let's just say it happens to be that I'm on my computer I'm able to boot into it. And this is the one that we want to repair. So this tutorial will walk through how to hopefully troubleshoot some issues you might be having. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one you open, but I'm going to open up Google Chrome here. And now on to Google. I'm going to type in Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. And once I've typed that in, I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. So one of the best matches that comes up, and I would highly recommend you download it directly from Microsoft.com. At the time of this recording, it says Microsoft.com, download a Windows 10 disk image, ISO file. There's other top links here as well, create installation media for Windows. These will achieve the same page results, I believe, just about the same. So I think this page might redirect to the first link here. So I'm going to select the first one here. And again, I'd recommend you double check, make sure you're downloading it from Microsoft.com. Highly important. So we can see a little bit down the page, there should be something that says Create Windows 10 Installation Media. To get started, you will first need to have a license to install Windows 10. You can then download and run the media creation tool. For more information on how to use the tool, please see the instructions below. And you just want to select download tool now. And it's about 17 and a half megabytes at the time of this recording, so it shouldn't be that long to download. It's just want to be patient. And you want to open up the executable once it's done downloading. So it's going to ask, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You want to select yes. And you can also close out of the web browser this time as well. You don't need that any longer for this tutorial. Just say Windows 10 setup. You want to accept the end user license agreement that's displayed here. It's going to ask what you want to do. You want to upgrade this PC now if that's the computer we're having the difficulties with. Otherwise, you want to select to create installation media. So this will take a moment, so just be patient.
So for the applicable notices and license terms, you want to accept the terms. Okay, so it should say ready to install. You won't be able to use your PC while Windows installs. Save and close your files before you begin. To recap, you've chosen to install Windows 10. If you're using the Professional Edition, it'll say Windows 10 Professional, as well as keeping personal files and apps. I recommend that you check mark or click inside this change what to keep option underneath. So we have a few different options here. Like the one that you guys are probably looking for would be to keep personal files and apps. You will be able to manage your Windows settings. The second option is to just keep your personal files, and the last option is to do a complete reformat, refresh. I would recommend that you back up any important documents, files, pictures, whatever, before you pursue with this tutorial, because even if you select keep personal files and apps, there's always a slim chance that something could happen to your computer, and you'll need to do a complete, clean reinstall of the Windows 10 operating system. So I really do want to stress that point. So just keep that in mind I would recommend backing up anything to a USB or CD that's not being used for this setup application before you get too far into it and then you would just select next and it'll begin checking for updates and this might take like about an hour or a couple hours depending on your case so you just want to be patient let it install and that's pretty much about it so there's really not much more to go through in this video I feel like this is a pretty straightforward topic and you just want to make sure you have enough disk space your CPU supports Windows 10 and everything which it should most people if you're running Windows 10 you should be able to keep running Windows 10 and it makes sense so you just click on install here and you would install and when, I, when you say install you are keeping personal files and applications so it's not like you're really doing a clean install in this case but I do hope I was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial Goodbye.